Hey guys, my name is Trevor. We're on the Arctic Vet channel today and we're looking at the Jeep again. So I've been told that this issue I've been having with it has been several things and nothing so far has fixed it. It's gotten a little better, but lately I've determined that maybe uh, with talking to some people that it might be a bad valve seat so today we're gonna to do some compression testing. And I've never done it before. Uh, I've looked it up, watched some videos, you know, how to do it. Had some mechanic friends help me out, tell me what to do. So I've got the tool right down here. Got the Jeep. We're gonna get it ready, take it apart. First, we're gonna take the uh, fuel relay out and uh, maybe fuse if there's another fuel fuse um, so that the fuel is not going, running. And then we're gonna take off the intake up here, take the all the coil packs out and spark plugs, and then we'll plug this tool, which I guess I could I could pull it out real quick. So we'll just take take this piece, put it down in the uh, spark where the spark plugs at down that hole, and then tie the gauge onto there, turn the key. Three times, I believe, is what it is. You turn the, you plug that in, turn the key three times, check your pressure, write it down, move to the next cylinder. Luckily for me, I can do it eight times. Got that V8. <sighs> Jeeps. But hey, I got an OS motor sitting outside in a Corvette that would fit really well in here. Hmm. More power for the Corvette. I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys here in a second once I get this all torn down. I've done it before. It's in previous videos. There's two bolts on each side of the intake. Pop that off. Pop the top of the air filter housing off. And then that's off. And then uh, the coil pack's super easy. One bolt and a plug wire. Pop right out. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Catch up with you guys here in a minute. All right, so, I've got everything ready. So you just take your tester, screw it right on in to the spark plug area. And I've got those all out and set aside. And now I've got somebody coming to help me so that they can turn the key. And I can tell them to stop turning the key until this needle stops moving. So then we're going to do this again. Write down our numbers for each cylinder. Find the little one. All right. Well, I'm back and I got some results. Uh... Cylinder six, cylinder six. Uh, yeah, so most of them are at 135. Got a couple 120s and in-betweens there. Um, my lowest one was number six, and it read 90. So I did a wet shot. A wet shot, whatever you want to call it. A wet, a wet compression test. And basically what that is, is you take your oil, and you pour about two tablespoons into the cylinder that has the lowest compression and then you put the compression tester back on there which i still i still have mine connected here and uh what that does is if your compression stays the same then you have a valve head uh a valve in the head is the issue um if it goes up then you're piston rings are going bad or at least that's what i read uh if, i don't know if i'm right i'm no mechanic so if you know put down in the comments let me know for sure but there we go compression testing done results are in and uh i mean i guess i'm just gonna drive it until uh the rod gives away i don't know <laughs> i don't know thinking about maybe going to look for a new car test drive some stuff you know look at replacing this old girl see if i can't use it for some fun while it still runs well i guess that's it we're gonna end this video here not the best news but you know what Next weekend, Cars and Coffee at the Alley here in Hutchison, Kansas. 
from 8 o'clock to 11, and that is Saturday the 25th of 2019, because I'm not, I don't come back here in a year and say, hey, we didn't have cars and coffee, because it's this year, and um, this one is actually going to be our first uh, different kind of event. We're going to have our normal cars and coffee, but after after the event's over, about 10.30 or so, we are going to get ready to go to a cruise in Wichita. So we're going to cruise from Hutch all the way to Wichita to do a cruise event for Lupus Awareness. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong. Don't, don't hate. So we're going to do that and hopefully raise a little bit of money and help some people out. So I hope to see you there. And if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how my mechanic skills are. Or if you're a do-it-yourself or two. And if you guys haven't already, please click that red subscribe button. And we'll catch you in the next video. Don't worry. The good girl's still sitting out there looking pretty. Oh yeah.